Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Let's get started. Welcome to Cloud Foundry 101. I'm Dr. Gao, uh, a client lead and a senior cloud engineer at Stark and Wayne. Yeah, good morning also from my side. Um, now we also have the photo of the two of us. Uh, my name is Matthias. I work for a company called Novatech. Um, we two are going to be the co-chairs for this track for the next two days. Um, so please, in case you want to know anything, if something is unclear whatsoever, you can ask us anything. We try to be here for you all the time. <laughs> anything. You can ask anything. anything. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna start with, uh, with this slide real quick, um, just, to, just to introduce that, that talk. I mean, we've been uh, busy in the last weeks to, to select and align the talks for, for the next two days, and, and this was a lot harder than I thought. I have never done this before. And um, the way we did it, I mean, we were basically look, looking at Cloud Foundry and say, what will people need to know in order to get started? What are the relevant topics? What are the relevant technologies that surround the ecosystem? And um, you probably see a lot of, I mean, I'm not gonna read through all of them, but you see also the ones that have been mentioned in the keynotes, like Irene and Quarks, Bosch. Um, so we, we try to make a, a bit of a wide selection to make sure we're not, we're not focusing on one particular area, but we cover a, a big range. And um, in case you plan to spend the next two days in here, you should be very familiar with the, with the Cloud Foundry ecosystem. Yeah, uh, Matthias did a very good summary about how we select the talk, what we select. Just adding to that, I want to say there's uh, lots of good talks submitted. I want to thank, for, uh, thank all of those people who submitted the talks, and we had a hard time to pick. We want all of them be speaking today, but we cannot. I saw that that's the only problem I have when I go shopping for dresses. Want all of them it? Cannot. But anyways, let's see the schedule. So day one, if you go online on the, the side, you filter by the track, you will see something like this uh, to break it out. So we have a beginner's guide. So it will give you an uh, introduction about CF concepts as a whole system. It also have talks focused on how you are going to deploy CF. And there, there are many ways to deploy CF. Regardless of what we, you use, underneath it is the Bosch. Use the Bosch to deploy it. So we have a Bosch 101 for that purpose. Um, how can we have CF 101 without talking about applications? So we have two talks. No matter you are the new user, just push your first CF app to your Cloud Foundry, or you want to migrate your existing app to Cloud Foundry. You are all covered. Um, then we will wrap up our first day, use a cute, fancy, beautiful UI stratos. All right, um, so I'm gonna walk you quickly through the selection of day two, um, where I'm gonna be actually taking part also as a presenter <laughs> in, in the first track. Uh, I'm not gonna read through them now, I'll, I'll try to visualize in a similar way as Dr. Gao just did. So um, on, on this day, we basically have one general introduction talk, that's the um, Cloud Foundry for, for everyone. The other ones will basically be a bit of a, of a mix of um, various technologies and um, also lessons learned using those technologies. So of course, also focus will be on application development and deployment to the platform and usage of the platform. This will be done on an example with, uh, with Spring Boot. Um, we're gonna talk about build packs to make every, to sure everybody understands the concept of build packs, how they're being used in Cloud Foundry. Um, CLI plugins is an, um, is an interesting thing for people getting started so they can enhance the Cloud Foundry experience by writing them themselves and extend the functionality scope there. So there will be an introduction to that. Kubernetes is of course a big topic everywhere. I mean, we don't have like a full getting started and learn Kubernetes everything. Um, this would probably be too big for, for that session. Um, but this is like more to focus on Kubernetes uh, from a Quarks and Irene perspective, mm -hmm. which makes it very relevant to, um, to Cloud Foundry. And then also uh, the service broker API to basically learn how to attach mm -hmm. external systems to your, to your Cloud Foundry environment. So, 
I hope you're all happy with the selection that we picked. Uh, as we just said, it was very hard. We had a lot of other talks that we could have selected as well, and it was really hard for us to, to like not include er everyone. And so with that, um, we just can say, have fun. Happy learning. And thanks for being Thank here. Thank you.